This is an RTV6 update working for you. I'm Lauren Casey and these are your latest headlines from the RTV6 newsroom. More protests are expected in Bloomington after a man who serves on Monroe County's Human Rights Commission says he was attacked. This is part of the video that people around the world have now seen. It shows several men holding Vox Booker against a tree with his arms behind his back. Booker says the group threatened to lynch him while shouting white power and racial slurs. He says friends and other bystanders yelled at the attackers to let him go and he believes that saved his life. The Department of Natural Resources and the Monroe County Prosecutor's Office both say that they are still investigating. Students in Brownsburg will be required to wear masks this upcoming semester. The Brownsburg Community School District says that they will not be optional. They must be worn at all times with the exception of lunch and special instruction by the teacher. The district is also offering an online option. You can find more on Brownsburg's semester plans on our website by visiting theindychannel.com. Time now for a check of our Tuesday forecast with Todd Clausen. Hey TK. Yeah, Lauren, it continues to be all about the heat, the humidity, and then storm chances in the forecast uh, going forward. Highs today anywhere between about 90 and 95 degrees, depending on where you are. And heat index values will be anywhere from 95 to 100. So it's very warm, it's very muggy. And as we go throughout the course of the afternoon hours, just like we've done the past few days and into the evening, we'll have these isolated thunderstorms, likely not severe, but they'll produce some very heavy rainfall and they'll also have some lightning which will make all these storms uh, dangerous. Once we get past today, it's more the same for Wednesday and Thursday. The difference maker is Friday. A cold front comes through. That brings better chances of rain. Todd, thank you. For more stories and weather you need to know, just download the RTV6 mobile app. Thanks for joining us.